How's it going my YouTube friends? Stefan here. Super excited for this video for today. Today I'm going to show you the Mi Fit app which is available for both uh, Android and iOS. Completely free, you can download it. I'm gonna leave the link down below. So if you have a smartwatch for Xiaomi or if you have a smart band, this is the app that you're going to use. So let's go to the video now. So I'm going to open the app. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do like. Actually, the app is pretty, pretty good, very helpful. So the first thing that you're going to do when you open the app, you'll see you have the status, then you have walking. This is a pretty good option when you turn your GPS on your smartphone and there's an option on the watch let's say if you, if you want to do walking just do this option on the workouts walking and then the gps automatically will show you on the map where you have been or where you're walking to which is a pretty good this is very good for running also for cycling as well if you want to see uh, later uh, after that uh, where you have been where you cycle uh, on the GPS which is a pretty pretty good so we're gonna press status again and now we're going to press the profile so the there's a profile there's a friends so far I don't have any friends workout so yeah this is the first thing that you can do when you open the app so let's go to the profile when you go to the profile uh as you can see um you're going to press me smart band 4 but here you can see i did uh, the steps my goals are 10,000 steps per day i don't have any friends um smart analysis feedback help settings there's a settings here that you can uh, turn a couple of things um if you want to check for updates um and so on but this is not very important the more important thing is i'm gonna show you now the all the things that you need to know so you're going to press on me smart band 4 when you press here this is the, all the options for the smart watch for the for the band. So basically, this is pretty amazing. I'm super, super excited. If you want to watch my vi previous video for the Mi Band 4, click here. As you can see, last charged 16 days ago. This is shocking. And as you can see, I still have 43% of the battery. In the official website, it says the battery uh, is going to stay up to 20 days, but I think that's more more than 20 days so the first option that we have here is band display settings when you click here and then when you click on band display actually I have oh yeah sorry about that uh, I think the connection uh, is not so good so when you when you open the the band displays this is all the um, face uh, watches that you can change uh, for your uh, Mi Band 4 so this is the first one as you can see how it's going to look so when you press sync watch after 10 seconds this is going to be your uh, face watch there's a pretty good face watches some of them are quite uh, I think uh, good some of them are I think pretty cartoonish which I don't have problem with that. Um, I do like this one, which is pretty good. But I prefer my my own uh, face watches. I'm going to show you um, uh, in the video as well. So the second thing is unlock screen. So basically, I just set up my my Mi Band with my Pixel XL2. When they are connected, I don't need to unlock my my uh, my Pixel XL2, which is pretty useful. Uh, then we have incoming calls. So basically, when you turn these options, when when you receive a call from your smartphone, automatically the Mi Band 4 will vibrate, which is a pretty good. Actually, the vibration is super super cool. Plus, you have a uh, options to create your own vibration, which is pretty good as well. But I leave it on default. Um, show contact information yes uh, delay alerts no and this pretty much uh, the other option is 
if you want to remind yourself a couple of stuff watch is gonna remind you it's gonna vibrate I don't set this on and alarm which is pretty good the alarm is pretty good as well vibrates pretty pretty good I recommend to try the alarm as well um, up alert so basically I just switch all my apps so I have on my Mi Band 4 only the Mi, Mi Fit app WhatsApp and Gmail and phone I don't need uh, any more notifications because uh, this is most of the apps I use most of the apps but this is the most important apps uh, if you want to expect any uh, emails also WhatsApp and phone and SMS basically um, what else we have here here this is a pretty good uh, option if you sit for a couple of let's say more than one two hours the watch will remind you to uh, stand up which is a pretty good uh, option you can uh, put a time as well and second option is when you press here the fit find the band when i click it now it's actually vibrates so let's say you you don't know where is your uh, Mifit uh, um, band. Let's say you, you left it on the table in the kitchen. And when you press uh, find band, will vibrate. Um, I don't know if you're going to hear now. I'm going to try to put the microphone next to the Mifit uh, uh, smartwatch to see if this uh, will pick up the microphone. I hope it does. Okay, second thing. So the second option is uh, discoverable. Um, this is off. I turn this option off. Um, I don't want to be visible for other people. Uh, band location, it's on my left wrist at the moment. And the other option, which is super, super useful, is lift wrist view info. So I did my option like this. So from 7 in the morning till 21. So basically, uh, before. So after, so I can see the watch, I can do this uh, option. If you want to see the time, let's say if you want to see if you have a message, only from 7 a.m. till 21. Uh, this is a pretty good because you don't want to accidentally to, uh, because six o'clock I still sleep and I don't use my, my Mi Fit app after nine o'clock, after 9 p.m., which is pretty good. You can set the time, what time is better for you, but I set it uh, from 7 a.m till 21 which is pretty good and the other good option is um, uh, you can put the heart rate uh, on every 10 minutes every one minute uh, I switch it off I don't need this option um, because uh, this is a pretty useful if you if you do uh, workouts to see how your heart rate but I switch it off for me uh, and the other option which is fantastic is a night mode this is accidental let's say if you sleep or you if, if you want to monitor your sleep let's say your watch is on your uh, left wrist or right and some people they sleep pretty um, I mean usually I sleep on the left side right side and you don't want to turn your display on so this is pretty good option night mode I put my night mode from from 21 uh, 1 p.m. it's uh, on and it's off uh, from 7 in the morning because 7 in the morning I can uh, use otherwise it's very dim display is very dim you cannot see nothing which is a very good uh, option and uh, find phone which is a pretty pretty good I'm not gonna press this uh, option now because the phone will start will vibrate actually I'll press it to, to see how uh, vibrate now so sorry about that uh, find phone mm, the following for some reason doesn't vibrate but you got the point uh, rain background um, this is Google okay uh, to be honest I don't know what it is so if anybody knows please let me know and now display settings uh, band display status hard rate this is all the things that you're going to receive in your uh, on your screen for for the display and weather this is the weather for Croydon 
as you can see temperature celsius push notification yes uh check for updates bluetooth address pretty good this is this is pretty much uh, this is the app which is fantastic you should see this app uh pretty good very good uh, options and um other than that this is this is pretty much guys make sure you subscribe and like this video if it's helpful make sure to watch my previous video i'm gonna leave the link down below also check the screen on the right side if you missed the first video so i hope you like this video thank you very much for more time and i'm going to see you in my next video peace out and have a wonderful day guys